Rising fire, not getting lighter See the light getting brighter My eyes can comprehend the future ahead Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat and welcome back sa ating pong online daily devotion and prayer. So tayo po ay nagpapatuloy sa ating pong series on the 52 studies for successful cell group. At nasa study 42 na po tayo, ang focus po natin is on effective evangelism. 
So ito pong topic na to ay very important sa atin, especially sa atin pong pag-reach out, especially ngayon pong nasa prayer and fasting tayo at nilalakaran din po natin yung ating PX3+. Plus. So ano po ba tong effective evangelism na ang focus po natin is yung mga tinatawag pong principles of an effective uh, e- pag- pagiging effective mo na evangelist. or pag para maging effective yung evangelism na gagawin natin. But before po natin tignan uh, yung dalawang principles, uh, kasi po bukas, meron po itong karugtong yung dalawa pa. So apat po ang principles on an effective evangelism, kaya po abangan po natin itong dalawa. But before po natin ito um, tutukan ngayong hapon, simulan po muna natin ang ating pong, uh, daily devotion with our acts of faith. So, simulan po natin by sharing our broadcast. You can click on the share button. At habang sinishare niyo po ito, pwede niyo na rin itag yung mga friends niyo sa uh, pag-share niyo sa Facebook, sa iba pang mga platform. And then, don't forget to click on the like button dito po sa ating YouTube uh, channel para po mabalikan niyo yung mga videos. Also, don't forget to mention uh, where you're watching from and who you're watching with. Tapos po, patuloy po natin i-support ang ating pong CIF TV, CIF TV by subscribing our uh, channel at sa ating din pong Facebook page. At yung last po ay patuloy din po natin i-bless ang ministry ng Panginoon by giving through our online bank accounts para po patuloy na uh, mas strengthen pa ito pong mga gagawin po natin sa ating ministries. And again po, uh, maraming salamat for joining us this afternoon at sa ating pong pagsisimula, uh, titignan po natin yung topic again na principles of an effective evangelism. At yung dalawang points po na yun, nakikita po natin yung uh, parang basis niya sa John 4, um, verse 10 at 13 to 14. So, so John 4 po, it says here, uh, this is a conversation between Jesus and the Samaritan woman. Na natutunan po natin ito Uh, nung Wednesday, uh, yung about effective evangelism. At ayun nga, binibreak down po natin yung topic para mas manamnam pa natin to. So in verse 10, sabi po, nung uh, kausap na ni Jesus yung Samaritan woman, nung tinanong siya, uh, nung nagtatanong about sa uh, bakit mo ko, uh, bakit kita bibigyan ng tubig? Yan. So, Jesus answered there, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asked you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. That was verse 13 to 14 po. Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. Yun po yung uh, tubig na, na pinakuha sa balon, yung physical. But whoever drinks the water I give, sabi ni Jesus, I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. So may kita po natin dito kung ano yung um, dalawang kailangang ma-receive. Yung principles na kailangan nating ma-understand when it comes to becoming an effective evangelist. So ano ba yung mga dapat nating i-cover na perspective or topic? Una po is about God. Yan. Kasi isa po yun sa essential na uh, belief ng mga tao. And makikita po natin na from the verse, yung woman na pinakita na about dun sa water, yun yung ginawang example ng Panginoon. She used to drink water, uh, she used to drink from the wrong fountain. Yun po yung, uh, or yung balon na pinagkukunan niya. Nabadalas tayo po, uh, may mga kakalala natin, or even tayo, mali din yung foundation natin kung saan tayo Uh, kumukuha ng lakas kung saan tayo kumukuha ng pa, uh, pananaw natin in life. Kung ano yung perspective natin about who God is. Just like Paul. Diba si Paul po, he, uh, he, he was a die-hard uh, believer. Pero mali pala yung pinihiniwalaan niya kasi akala niya na hindi pa si Jesus yung Messiah. So ang faith niya hindi. Kailangan kong panindigan yung Jewish belief na um, in, meron tayong pinihiniwala ang God. Siya lang. So, hindi niya alam that Jesus is already the Son of God. And when he encountered Jesus, yun, nagbago na yung perspective niya. So, but when a person receives from the fountain of life, na yung po i-offer ng Panginoon, sabi niya, di ba, na 
kapag ikaw, you drink from this water that I give you, it, it will be um, living water na hindi mag-run out. So kaya nga po tayo, yun po yung gusto ituro ng Panginoon about our perspective of who God is, of who God is in our lives. Na yung in-offer niya sa atin is not just temporary. It's not just for earthly um, living. Kasi ganun yung tubig na nareceive ng woman or kinukuha niya that time. Diba? Parang mauubos pa rin yun in, in the natural. At yun, yun yung perspective ng tao in the natural. But when we receive God in our life, then we move in the supernatural. Yun po yung na, natutunan natin uh, nung encounter about the Holy Spirit kahapon, about po sa firing up our faith. At ngayon naman, ito, kung paano pa natin ma-experience yung living water. Yung pangalawa po is the concept or the principle of salvation. So the, kita po natin yung sinabi ni Jesus nung kausap niya yung woman. Sabi niya, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. Yun nga, mauubos kasi siya. But whoever drinks the water I give will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Don. So it is for eternity. And the woman, the woman, the Samaritan woman knew na Jesus was the fountain of life. Na, 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 alam niya na yun. Naririnig niya na siguro yun. Kasi medyo nagiging famous na po si Jesus that time. But, she has to have that personal experience. She has to have that personal decision. Jesus offers eternal life. Tayo when we, again, this is about effective ev- evangelism. We offer that to people. Nagsishare ka na feet mo. But you don't push that decision for them. They have to make that decision. And when when we're confronted with the word, with the word of God, with the promises of God, ikakaroon tayo ng internal argument. Ikakaroon ng internal battle na nag-argue tayo based sa tradition natin, sa internal conflicts natin, sa past experience natin. Sometimes, we're afraid to take that step of faith. We're, we're afraid to take that leap of faith, but we are assured that Jesus will lead us to the right direction. God, salvation, yun po yung principle na kailangan po nating maging strong at clear yung foundation natin when it comes to uh, sharing our faith about who God is and about the gift of salvation na binibigay po natin. So kaya po as we pray, let us pray that as we continue with our prayer and fasting or with our ito pong pag-aaral natin about uh, yung 52 studies studies on how to be successful hindi lang sa cell group mo but even in life talagang Lord I want to be effective when I speak parang si Peter in Acts 2 when the spirit descended on them and then he spoke sabi po doon libo yung naka tanggap sa Panginoon. So kaya po, as we pray, let us receive that kind of anointing, that kind of faith, that kind of effectivity when we share the Word of God. And then we're also gonna pray for our church needs. Tayo po again ay nasa 40 days of prayer and fasting at yun po yung pagpipray natin. And then, um, pagpray din po natin yung mga loved ones natin. Kung meron po kayong mga loved ones na merong need, pwede nyo pong type dyan para masama rin po natin sa ating pananalangin. Sige po, Let us close our eyes and bow our heads and let's come to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this um, afternoon na kami po, Panginoon, ay muli nakalapit sa inyo. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us direction on how to be effective as we share your, our faith, as we reach out to people. Lord, I pray tulad ng example yung ginawa nyo, nakausap nyo po yung Samaritan woman. Give us, Lord God, strategies. Give us ideas, Panginoon, on how to introduce our faith to people, kung ano relevant sa kanila. Lord, bigyan niyo po kami ng ganong klaseng boldness, wisdom, Lord God, para mag, mag-strategize kami in reaching out to them. And Lord, we uh, also intercede as a church sa lahat po ng mga, mga church needs namin, mga uh, leaders namin, our uh, IPHC and PPHC pastors. We uh, lift them all up to Lord God, even our G12 pastors. We pray, Lord, for your Uh, wisdom to be upon them, your direction to be upon them, Lord God. We pray, Father, na patuloy po sila i-protect from any works of the enemies. We pray even, Lord God, that you uh, empower them, Lord, to seek um, unity in the body of Christ. And may they always be a carrier, Lord God, of your word. May 
continually walk Lorga towards direction of nation transportation. Because so lift up to you, our CF pastor, especially to Pastor Gani, um, to Pastor Rates, we pray, Father, na patuloy niya po siya bigyan ng comfort, especially Lord God, as the um, journey in their um, situation ngayon, Panginoon. We pray, Lord, that you embrace them with your love. Lord, we pray for direction to be upon them, mga needs nila, that you will sustain them, Lord God, and you will, you will protect them, Lord, from any works of the enemies. Lord, we pray, malaisin niyo po, Lord God, yung mga fears, worries, Lord God, and I, uh, yung, yung um, kalungkutan, at patuloy niyo po itong palitan, Lord, ng kalakasan, ng kasiyahan, inner joy, and inner peace. We also pray, Lord, for all, I, uh, all our CF pastors, we speak, Lord God, and we declare that you will uh, bless all our CF pastors uh, kay Pastor Bern, Lord God, Pastor Gini, Pastor Hias, Evil Lord Gala, Pastor Tet, Pastor June and his family, Lord, kay Pastor Mark and Angel, Lord, kay Pastor Joseph and Pastor Jay, kay Pastor Israel, Pastor Monica, Lord, Pastor Feli, Pastor Ed, Pastor Naida, Pastor Shirley Panginoon, uh, Brother Job and Pastor Alma. We speak, Lord God, for the unity in all our CF churches, especially this time as we pray and as we fast, as we seek, give us direction, Lord God. I pray na patuloy kami magkaroon ng passion in soul winning, in discipleship. Patuloy niyo po kami i-prosper in all areas of our lives. Give us strength, give us healing, Panginoon. Give us strategies as well as we raise our 12, as we build our 12, Panginoon, our strong 12, na patuloy po itong makapag-glorify sa inyo. We also lift up to you, Lord, all our CF churches. Lord, yung um, mga nire-resub niyo po, mga leaders, we pray that you reactivate, Lord, that mga cell groups sa iba't ibang networks, Panginoon, patuloy pong uh, ma ma, ma Ma, re- ma rebuild po ito Panginoon. Even Lord, we pray uh, sa aming paghahanda Lord for our new place of worship sa CF Makati. Give us divine connection Lord God, provision Panginoon as we continually rebuild as uh, our church. Lord, we pray for provision sa lahat aming mga needs, uh, stewardship Lord God, patuloy Lord na unity in the body of Christ at patuloy na um, bigyan niyo po kami, Lord God, ng ideas pa kung paano pa ito gagawin. Thank you, Lord God. We also pray na patuloy niyo rin po, Lord God, um, i-bless, Lord, lahat ng mga loved ones namin who are sick. Remember, Lord, si Pastor Well, we continually pray for healing, restoration to be upon him, Lord God. We apply your blood over him and speak your your hand, Panginoon, ang nagpapalakas sa kanya. Ganun din po, Lord, kay uh, Brother Nimesho, Lord, kay Sister Ruby, Lahat pa po Lord, mga loved ones na represented here, we speak healing on their behalf, restoration sa kanila. We also pray, Lord, na um, patuloy niyo pong i-bless kami as we pursue our PX3+. Plus. Could you really give us direction, Lord God? The, the people na i-reach out, give us boldness, help us be effective in evangelism. Patuloy, Lord, na uh, mar- maranasan namin as a church yung breakthrough, yung multiplication, Lord God. Uh, we have the anointing to multiply this year and we receive it. We pray, Lord God, not only po, Lord, sa aming bansa, as we have our election uh, ngayong araw na ito, we pray for peace to be upon us, Lord, let your um, wisdom to be upon us, Lord, I pray na alis niyo po lahat ng mga uh, wiles and schemes of the enemies, I pray na maging maayos po ito, maging smooth po ito, Lord, and we uh, surrender to you, Lord God, uh, the next set of leaders sa bansang Pilipinas. Patuloy niyo po panghawakan sila, Lord God. Patuloy niyo po sila i-anoint. May you surround them, Lord, with righteous um, advisors. May they be righteous as well, Panginoon. May you raise them up to serve you to the Lord nung pinanghawakan namin, pinagpala ang bansa na kayo ang uh, kayo ang Diyos. So, Lord, tinatanggap po namin ito at, at patuloy na inaalay namin ang bansang Pilipinas para sa inyo. Salamat, Lord. We thank you for this afternoon. Thank you for all the prayer warriors na patuloy na malapit, tinatayo ang Lord God, yung pangangailangan na aming church interceding in prayer. May you bless all of us. Bless us for the rest of the day, for the rest of the week. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So muli, maraming salamat po for joining us this afternoon. See you again tomorrow sa ating pong online daily devotion and prayer. God bless everyone.